Hello, and I am Awesome Sauce, and today we're playing, uh, Mirage Noor. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I've heard that it's a virtual story. I've heard that it's a game, but we're doing it. Let's see. The Void. What? The Void is swallowing every part of your body. <laughs> uh -huh, nice start. Oh, what'd I do? I don't know what I did, but I opened up something. It completely fills your soul and mind. A ruthless emptiness. Have you ever thought about what death may bring? Uh, this is depressing already. Maybe the... Whatever that word is. Vision of pain. Boiling devilish cauldrons filled up with tar. Or burning fire. May not actually be that bad. <laughs> what is wrong with this? The void is, I guess that's supposed to be paralyzing, but I think paralyzing has a Z in it. <laughs> the void is trapping you. It devours every bit of your happiness and changes it to persistent gloom. Well, this is very sad. This is sadder than the beginning of Eve. But then, a crack. <laughs> and another, a little crack on the sheet of ice is unyielding. Just like an avalanche. One crack. Second. Third. Bro! The mosaic build from small faint lines finally emerges from darkness. They also bring shattering coldness, which is paradoxically flaming your neural network like it's on fire. Your heart starts to f slowly pump up your blood, all thick from being... Stagnant. I, I don't know. Your body is peered by bursting pain. Good. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Everything is better from endless... That word. <laughs> Forgive me. If, if you know these words, then you can read them for yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I just got done drinking some soda. Your body finally feels like it's alive, not some frozen mass. I feel alive right now reading this, so shut your face. <laughs> the brain speeds up and gives orders to the motionless organs. Breath. Gulp of the fresh air. Your lungs feel like they are tiny little needles piercing them with every sip of air you take. More oxygen. More signals between the neural network. It's weird because I'm actually learning about like body parts and cells in science right now. <laughs> Either way. Finally, your stiff hands are making their first helpless move and they feel an obstacle on their way. You didn't expect that? That's why you try to affect the cold and sleek surface in front of you. It melts slowly as you touch it with your slightly warmer fingers. Your hand tried to push away the hydrants in front of you, but it won't budge. Why? Why now? Finally, your emotions are so strong that they overcome you, and you begin to smash that freezing cold surface with your bare fist. Oh, yeah, you want to get out of there. Oh, whoa. Punch, punch, punch. Martial arts. Okay. Asley used to take martial arts. I took it for a year. It was really fun. But it has no effect at all, and your weakened limbs are getting tired very easily. A uh, very faint whiz starts to emit from your throat. Okay, because I was I was thinking, you're unaccustomed to taking, your to talking speech. Dorian does not work at all, but the situation is so dire that your brain tries hard to restore its function. With every second, a silent, I wheeze. I, I'm assuming that's supposed to be wheeze, not whiz, because it sounds weird with whiz. Whatever. Slowly becomes a rough horse. You cannot be here. Whoa! <laughs> that got me again. Not now, when you finally regain control of your body. And finally, you can scream. Actually, it's more like a girdling shriek, but you can recognize your own voice. The silence that occurred after that seemed to last forever, but in reality, it was just a couple of seconds. Did it break? 
when you hear that sound, you feel kind of confused, but you are also curious what will happen next. So did the ice break? Your mem membranous libranous senses that the body quickly chases its localization. <laughs> In one moment, it moves from vertical position to horizontal position. So you didn't break the ice. <laughs> You meet with the gravity in a harsh way as it brutally pushes you into the ground. Well, yeah, it's gravity. <laughs> I, I don't know. This this is weird. Oh, I, did I mention that I'm actually doing this completely blind for once? Yeah, just know that it's like, that is like really weird. So. The pain that struck you just after the fall is very intense and all the air that was inside your lungs escapes quickly. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> Sensory receptors receptors feel a mix of sand-like cold substance beneath your hands. Sand! Dirt! Ground! Whatever it is. Your visual perception tries to adapt to the dimness around you. Your senses are struck with continuous in <laughs> Finally, after a while, your brain has more or less control over your senses and starts to get c used to the new situation. What is it? Uh, uh, this makes no sense. Your clumsy body tries really hard to listen to your mind's orders. It sits down and you look around. I, I just want to see if this is how I save right quick. Oh, okay. Good, I know how to save. So, return. Eyes are gradually classificating the environment around you, and you recognize some of the dark shapes. You notice that the bushes and trees are really close to one another. How was it? Ah, forced. What about that enormous dark blue space with those tiny little shiny dots right above your head. The sky with stars. Sky, night sky. And that huge <laughs> shiny disc is classified as moon. Its light shows you clearly a white area around you. Snow. Oh, there's actually like tons of snow outside my house right now. Happiness and relief are filling you at this moment. You even manage to relax a bit before you, even though you know nothing about your actual situation. Your eyes are jumping from one in, in place to another, slowly recognizing the elements of your current environment. Oh, I, I forgot to mention this, but this is actually the prologue. So, <laughs> I don't know how long this is. Meadow, stones, logs, snow, sky, forest, moon. Ground, blood, ice, blood. Whoa! I I broke the ice, but I also took a serious injury. When that information stores to your mind, you're su you suddenly freeze in your current position. Your nose catches a rusty metallic door. Did I just get your nose cut off? Oh, I, it's just smelling it. The taste of iron fills your mouth as your pupils get wider to observe better what looks in the darkness of the nearby forest. Your body wants to be somewhere far, far away. Danger. Now you feel a small gust of wind around you. Pidgeotto used gust! Okay. Silky blades of long grass protruding above the snow bend under its gentle touch. Expanded nostrils catch a vivid smell that breeze brought to them. The brain calculates and analyzes all the archetypes of smells that it knows, driving to one irritable conclusion. And we have to stop here. Let's save again. And uh, I'm sure you want to overwrite your save. Yeah. Um. Return and I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is pretty weird, but I'll be seeing you in the next video anyway. Goodbye.